Good morning. On this Friday morning, we are going to be talking about a Wisconsin reptile who has a very important role in keeping grain-eating mammals in check. They are also important because this reptile actually helps reduce the dangers or threats posed by rodents like mice and rats. Now I have to admit, and those of you that know me well, this is not my favorite animal in the world, but today we're going to talk about Wisconsin snakes. There are 21 species of snakes that can be found in Wisconsin. Maybe you've seen some of these more common ones in your neighborhood. The common garter snake, the common water snake, the northern ringneck snake, the brown snake, the red-bellied snake, and the smooth green snake. Now, as I said, these are the more common ones. Of those 21 species, there are 14 in the state that are considered rare, endangered, or threatened. Snakes are reptiles, and there are almost 3,000 species of them on our planet. Snakes have dry, smooth, scaly skin, and they can be found on every continent of the world except Antarctica. Now, if you truly have a fear of snakes, it's called aphidiophobia. Well, I don't think I really do. However, I came close last summer when I was visiting in Tennessee and almost stepped on a water moccasin. It's important to note that Wisconsin is home to two types of venomous rattlesnakes, the timber rattlesnake and the eastern Massasauga rattlesnake. It's also important to know that sometimes people confuse these three snakes with those rattlers. And these are not venomous. The eastern milk snake, the eastern fox snake, which we often call the pine snake, and the eastern hognose snake. Now most snakes do have teeth, but only the venomous ones have fangs. Not only do the pine snake, the hog snake, and the milk snake look like rattlers, but they will actually mimic a rattlesnake and shake their tail when they feel threatened. Snakes are carnivores. That means they are meat eaters. And they cannot chew food, so they swallow it whole. Now, because they have a type of jaw that is so flexible, they can actually eat prey that is larger than their heads. Snakes actually smell with their tongue, and they are mostly afraid of people. Like almost all reptiles, they have a three-chambered heart. The only one that doesn't is the crocodile. Snakes sleep in burrows in the ground at night, or sometimes up in trees in the wild. Their habitat is forests, deserts, swamps, grassland, under rocks, and even some in water. You might ask yourself, what animals would actually go after a snake? Large birds like eagles, wild boars, raccoons, foxes, coyotes, and even other snakes and mongooses will make the snake a prey of theirs. A baby snake is called a hatchling. And depending on the size of the snake, there can be anywhere from 1 to 150 babies. Now, most of them, like other reptiles, lay eggs, but there are a few types of snakes that actually give live birth to the babies that have developed from the eggs inside the mother's body. This would be a few types of boa constrictors, rattlesnakes, and some garter snakes. After they are born, the baby snakes are on their own with just a few types that stay with the mother for only one to two weeks. The largest species of snake found in Wisconsin is the bull snake, which is also called the gopher snake. They are mostly found in southern or southwestern Wisconsin, and they are a non-venomous species. They can actually grow up to six and a half feet long. Well, I hope you have found this information on the snakes of Wisconsin informative. And now we will end with my coup de gras. Coup de gras is a French term which means the end or the culmination of a situation that's going downhill quickly. This is a snake skin. 
Snakes actually shed their skin several times a year, and it takes them at least a day or two to do it. And boys and girls, especially those of you in my class, you know that this is about the only type of snake I would be able to hold. You're much braver than me if you can pick them up when you find them this summer. Have a great day.